Okay, welcome to this to uh, this uh, Oracle Cloud series. This is the third tutorial in this series. So in this tutorial, we are going to deploy a, a MySQL database system uh, database on on Oracle Cloud. So in the last two we in the last video we have seen how we can um, uh, launch an instance on a Oracle Cloud and then we see how we can install Apache and a PHP on 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 a Ubuntu instance on Oracle Cloud. So let's go. Today we are going to deploy a database system which is MySQL on Oracle Cloud. So click on this hamburg icon then go to the database and then db system now if you're going to the first time to create a db system you would see this prerequisite so the prerequisite is tab one is create virtual cloud network and subnet that we have already did then create a group and you need to add a user to the group and then you need to create this policy so without this policy the service will not function properly okay so if i go to this policy if i click here i can see that i have already a policy on a compartments that's the root compartments which allow me to the full access okay so allow any user to manage all resources in compartments manage compartments right okay now so that part is already done now if you want you can create a group so what you need to do that you need to go to the identity and security managers then click on group open a new tab and then click on the create group I give it a name Moodle POC users this group is using for modal POC and click on the create once you create the group you need to add the users right now we have only one user so I am adding this All right so this part is done now what I need to do is I need to create a policy so click on this click on the create policy name this policy model POC policy this policy is using by model POC users and you need to attach this policy to the root compartment so this is my root compartment okay then instead of using policy builder I'm going to use the manual editors so here you see they already give you what type of policy you need to add there and the main thing is here you need to change this values to the actual one right so the so you need to change the group name with the group names in tenancy and compartments you, you need to take one out of this Right, so I have already created this policy in a notepad file so just to save the time I'm just going to copy this paste here this policy and then create right so this is my policy which I have attached to my root compartments okay perfect so this is already done now I'm really going to never show this message. Now create a DB systems. So create in the compartment Moodle POC name. You need to give the name of your 
uh, database here I'm giving a model POC DB okay so I'm also note down these things um, DB system on a notepad for my future reference name is Moodle POC DB okay then description this DB is using for Moodle POC now in the type we need to uh, choose the heat wave if you want to if you want to try the heat wave features then username you need to define the username here I mean define the username admin and then the password I set the password here now configuration network so my virtual cloud network in Moodle POC you can change the compartment I'm going to the same compartment using subnet this should be in the private so okay this is also the perfectly right configuration placements I use the first ability domain 81 choose the default domain if I don't choose the Oracle will be the best replacement for you so leave it as it is now configurations hardware so here I'm going to change the shape uh, to this one to virtual CPU with 16 GB okay then I click on this select shape you can change the shape later also now storage G I'm going to choose 100 GB configure the backup plan okay leave it as it is 7 and if you click on the show then you can see the different other settings like deletion protection retention automatic backup require final backup and leave it as it is this is the configuration setting okay here you can select your MySQL version right so so these settings are optionals you can choose the MySQL version if you want okay then crash recovery management networking you can define the host name for here so for my convenient I'm just give it a name Moodle POC DB so copy it and note it down somewhere host name of DB So here you can see that your MySQL port 3306. If you want, you can change this. MySQL X protocol port is 3060. Data import, you can import any data from here. Tag, you can name it here. So give it a name Moodle POC DB. That's it. All this is all you need to create a MySQL heat wave DB uh, currently we have not enabled the heat wave that part comes later once this create once this provision then we can enable the heat wave so so just now go ahead and create a create so I know status is creating so this is all of our information all right backup deletion plan endpoint placement my db system configurations 
general information, heat wave, high probability networking. Okay, these are the different matrix. Now, if you go to the heat wave, this is currently disabled. We will enable it later. Okay. So, work requesting. If you see that it is right now only completed one person. So this will take a while. So let's pause this video here and we'll come back when this will complete. Okay. Okay. So it's take a while to create this database. Now you can see that it is showing the status succeeds and 100% complete. You can also see here that is showing the TBS is active. Once it's become active, you can enable the heat wave. So, but before that, let's check that we can connect to our database so one more thing we need to do is we need to go networking virtual cloud networking and change our compartment go to this Moodle okay now go to the security list in a private security list and here we need to add the two ingress rule uh, so the rule is we're going to state this zero value zero, zero, zero slash zero TCP source is anything destination is three three zero six and three three zero six zero allow my SQL connection add the ingress perfect now if you go to the again database db system and if you click on this model db system here you can see the private ip address of our db which is a private subnet ip address so just or you can use the internal fully qualified domain name right so let me just copy this one open the terminal now before connecting this we need to first install mysql client to connect this so run the command sudo apt get update okay, then sudo app get install mysql client okay now let's try mysql host is just copy this IP user is admin and password so let's enter the password yep so we are now able to connect successfully so this is how we provision the uh, mysql db on oracle cloud in the next section or in the next tutorial i will show you how we enable the heat wave thank you for watching this tutorial please like and share my video and also don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you once again